you want to get cleaner releases with your forehand, then try a little proristination. Huh? Yeah. Spin it. Hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Bunky here and today we're going to talk about the forehand again. And if you've followed me for any length of time that you know that I don't have a good forehand and that the biggest problem with my forehand is, let's say it all together, wobble, right? My last video we had Mikey special uh, appearance telling you just how atrocious my wobble was, rightfully so. I was 16, 17, up to 20 wobble. I think 20 was the, the number that Mikey saw when I was down in Lynchburg that just horrified him and me. So I've been, I've been struggling with this ever since I've been playing. Um, the wobble on my forehand is awful and I've had a lot of people tell me a whole bunch of different things and I've tried them all and I can't get rid of it. Now my last video I talked a little bit about my grip, right? I went from, you know, usually a typical stack grip is like this and I was putting my pad of my finger on the on the rim and I talked about when I was down with Mikey and Josh how I modified it to do one finger and then completely removing my index finger and stacking it on top. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here. It talks about my grip and that has helped some, right? And I was able at one point with that grip to get down into the high single digits, right? Eight or nine. Uh, but since then I've, I've sort of crept back up and now I'm in the low teens, right? The upper teens are no longer an issue for me, but it's usually around 12, 13, 14, where I'm sitting right now consistently. I, like I said, again, I can get down into eight, nine territory, but I'm consistently up in 13, 14 territory. So still not great. So I need a lot of work. Uh, and as I'm thinking through uh, what I can do, racking my brain of all the things that I've seen, I remembered uh, a drill that Josh put out in one of his videos or talked about in one of his videos about sliding your hand across a wall. And what that essentially does is delays your wrist snap until late in your motion. And I was like, you know what? He said something about that being able to get cleaner release or smoother release if you if you did something like that. So I want to work on that. Uh, I wanted to work on that. So I did. Uh, I started, you know, sort of running my hand, you know, over the wall and getting, getting the feel for it. In doing that, I, I more consistently got my wobble down into the 11 and and, and 12 range. It, part of me wanted to write this off as a flexibility issue. Like I don't have, I, I don't know about you, but I don't have a lot of, see that's as far as I can go with my hand. But my wrist flexibility is terrible. And I know there are things that we can do to, you know, to get our wrist flexibility up, you know, these and, you know, wall presses and, you know, pulling your fingers back and stretching, stretching this out. Uh, my, my elbow flexibility and my wrist flexibility are atrocious. Now, I don't think I want to go messing with my wrist, my elbow flexibility with tendons and ligaments in here just because I'm old and I really don't feel like that's smart. Uh, but I think I am going to try to start getting more, a little bit more wrist flexibility. I think that will help. But I think the biggest thing right now, and, and I just stumbled upon this today. I've been out here for like an hour and a half. My wife came out and was like, are you okay? Like, yeah, I've I've thrown so many throws, uh, but I'll get into that in a second. That I think what I need to start doing is delaying my wrist snap to the very end. Hence the, the cold opening, proristination, right? Procrastination of the wrist, proristination. Um, this was solidified in, in, in sort of a text back and forth that Josh and I had uh, where, he, where he said, you know what, I think I've, I've replicated that terrible wobble that you've gotten. And I was like, oh yeah, how'd you do that? Maybe I can use it to help me fix it. And he said, I pronated early. Well, that makes sense. Okay, with what I had been thinking about, and I didn't even talk to him about what I had been thinking about and what I've been doing. That sort of solidifies what, what I was starting to suspect was the case. And then my buddy Yanni, uh, aka the spin doctor, put out a video about the forehand in delaying your wrist snap until much later in your throw. And then uh, last week, was it? 
but I just saw it today or yesterday. Broderick had a forehand video, uh, the second one he's done. The first one was pretty good, a little too much language in it for me, but you know, that's just me. The second one, just as good, less language. So I recommend both to you. Just be aware that there's language in the first one, not so much in the second one. But he talked about driving your elbow first and then lagging your wrist behind and then popping it at the very end. So all of this is just leading me to, I need to delay my wrist snap till much later. I have a really bad habit of snapping my wrist too soon. And what I've had to start doing now, and this is how I'm drilling it, because this, this bad habit is so ingrained in me that I cannot get rid of it. Uh, my, my drilling progression looks something like this. Uh, I, get my, I get my grip, I get my disc in, in position, uh, throw my wrist back as far as possible, and then I send my elbow and my wrist through as far as possible until I can't send it anymore, and then I stop. And get back here again, and I send my wrist and my, el my elbow and my wrist as far as possible until I can't get anymore and stop. And I keep just, I keep just, I, I just keep doing this to train my brain that I need to send all of this out here before I activate my wrist and my finger pop just over and over and over again until I, I felt like that I had it in my head that my body was not going to allow me to snap my wrist until way out here. And then, and, and I'm a little too close to my net, so let me adjust my camera. And then what I'm doing is I'm releasing, right? So I have my, hmm, let me go in back of me. All right, so I have my bonnet set up in front of me and I'm using these, this corner as my target area. And uh, again, it's, excuse me, I have a bee that was trying to uh, infiltrate my, my video. So again, get way back here, send my arm as far forward as I can and just keep my wrist back the whole way, okay? And then when I release, and you're gonna laugh, because it is super slow. I get back here, send my wrist forward, and that was terrible. Send my wrist forward, and at the very end, I snap my wrist, and I push my finger, push my finger through, through my disc. At the very, very end. Okay? And this is, it. This is as fast as I can go. That's it. I, I mean, I'm in like, high 30s, low 40s. I mean, my spin's still up around 500 or so, which is really weird to me. But I know that I release it right because it hits this corner. If I don't, if I, if I pronate too early, then, oh, I have pronated just in time on that one. It goes to that corner, right? So I, I, I start pronating early and it pulls it to the other corner. So I know that I'm really procrastinating enough when I hit this corner. And I, I was out here with my tech disc for, like I said, an hour. And I must have thrown a hundred throws. And I am consistently between five and eight wobble with this. Now, I know it's slow. I know it's not, not a lot of spin, but you have to start somewhere, right? And when I tried to start ramping up my speed, when I was doing this today, my wobble instantly shot up. Instantly 10, 11, 12, 13, as I picked my speed up. So my body, my bad habits are just not going to let me do this easily. I am going to have to break down everything to the very base again and build from the ground up as slow as possible until my body gets used to that being the norm. And then I can start slowly picking up my speed. And that's all I have for you today. Uh, it was sort of a spur of the moment because I sort of stumbled upon it today and I wanted to get it into a video. I've been planning to do this video, but I hadn't been consistent enough in the single digits until today. And this is what it took. So if you're having a problem with your forehand and with wobble specifically, give this a try and see if it works for you. Uh, maybe it's crazy. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe, it, you know, maybe it only works for me, but I'm hoping if it works for me, it works for somebody else. So go ahead and give it a shot, give it a try, and then come back and put it in the comments below if it works for you and how well it works for you. So as always, 
Thanks for coming along. Thanks for tuning in and for your support. It's, it means the world to me. Um, I'll keep doing this as long as I can. Uh, even if I help one person, it, it's worth it to me. So until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.